Hello, hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to another stream. So, Abdul Hamid, sorry, Abdul Hamid, Savro, Ashin, hi, everyone, welcome to the stream. Hello, can you do a complete, sorry, stream complete, you know, mention about what? No. Ashin. Yeah, please make a video not really in chin software to, to, to you already did so many bro can okay. check our channel we we already created so many tutorials on unreal engine okay anyway here you come back to our stream we are going to create this inside 3 ds Max, then we will export a substance painter after unwrapping the UVs okay okay I'm gonna move to the side then we'll start creating the model okay we'll create a box and apply on material I'm going to increase the height maybe you should reduce the size We are going to hide all. Hide this. Now we can just keep You know, things is enough, right? Okay, and maybe you should increase the width and the length of it. Okay, now we'll convert this to a table poly. And we are going to divide this. I'm going to select all these edges and divide it one second. Send. Okay. Let's say I copy. And we will select these two faces and then insert. and extrude inside okay like this Okay. 
this uh, duplicate this one this for a backup and hide the selection now we are going to select all these edges from these four corners and the same for all this maybe three segments maybe two now we'll give it three Hold on, maybe you should change the mode to modes. Wait, can this? Okay, I'm going to select all these edges also. Maybe you should take all these as well. Okay, I'm gonna just chamfer without seconds or wait. Uh, we need to build all this first, then we can chamfer. What build this point on? Uh, now, if I chamfer all this. I think we need to select these edges also. I'm going to say copy again. Maybe 1.5 centimeter. Even 1.1. We okay, now need to create the door, then we can go for the interior. I will just select these two faces and hold on shift. Then duplicate, sorry, duplicate as an object. Select the mesh and we need to select this border and extrude like this
let me just find this. Okay. And close the gate. And make sure you connect the solve vertices. At least some of them. Okay, I think we need to increase the size. Okay. Well, you know the problem is we should change for exactly like this. Okay. Dylan, hi, what must you? Okay. So, we'll try to remove this time for maybe she can remove this. We'll actually select all these. More edges, I think. So you select all this, you can actually want small segment. Then we can remove this temple. Or we can use the backup we already created. Okay, anyway, I'm gonna try this. Connect to one segment. Now what? I'm head on. Delete this mesh. No, it should be fine. Okay, now we can isolate this mesh and we are going to select all these bone. Okay, first I think we should and yeah, for I mean the interior. Okay, with the three seconds, right? Okay, I'm gonna copy this value. Twenty one to seven. Okay. Or you can.
Yeah, I think we need to remove this door also. Today I'm a little bit confused. Maybe we should keep all the same. You know. Yeah, I think we made a mistake by deleting the first one. We can actually change the dot, right? We didn't have to delete the whole mesh. So, anyway, we can change for this again. Because, uh, build all this. One point two, right? Or one point one? Okay, now we can actually. Select all this, I mean all these faces, then create a row from this. We don't need to select this inside. Okay, hold on, control and shift. Okay, it as an object and change the view and again. Close this gap and remove this edge. Then we need to these two seconds and again set up this border. Let's load it a little bit. Yep, it. You can just keep like this. We don't need to change for like we do. Sorry, did in the interior. Now we're going to save a copy again, then select this edge in the center. Then chamfer it. We need to divide these two parts. So I'm gonna turn this open chamfer on. Again, select this to border, cap it. We can actually detach. This two. Okay, I'm gonna set a copy again. Okay, now we need to create a handle. The I mean this door. Okay, this is another reference I have. Okay, I'm gonna put here. And we need to create a handle. So 
we'll go to the front and we'll create a plane for the plane. Draw a plane like this, then remove all these height segments, convert to a table pony, and I add one segment in <coughs> here. Then chamfer it to this open chamfer. And apply on material. Now we need to change your things. Okay. I'm going to select wait, we need to add on segment to so, this size, not a little bit first. Then a couple of segments, one here, another one here. Now again we need to release the size. Okay, then we need to select these two faces and we can release the size. Now, I'm going to move this a little bit to the front. Wait, you need to move these four vertex. Front and select these two edges, then hold on shift and extrude. Insert. Like this, now we need to chamfer these two edges. Select these two and uncheck this open chamfer. Maybe three segments. And I want to select these two edges also and check for. Okay, and then like this. And we need to add a shell mode here. Plus, we should change the size. Then we can add this shell modifier for this thickness. Okay, add this. Or you can just create a normal handle, you don't need to do this, you can just create a box or something for that.
but now I'm gonna save a copy we still need to collapse all this convert to poly again and I'm gonna select all these edges and we'll just smooth on this our edges with this chamfer it's like this same here let's select these two edges something like this and we can touch these two into the doors okay I'm gonna save copy again Okay, now I'm going to isolate this uh, door, then we can add interior parts. Okay, uh, rip and higher, you will see again higher on the street. I don't think so, Julie. So, for the interior, I'm going to select this one first. Maybe we should select this two and inset together so we don't need to worry about the actual size anyway we can set and extrude it maybe it's I think we should insert one more time I'm just doing I don't have any reference so anyway we can insert again and bevel it And we should insert one more time. Then extrude to inside all the way inside. Okay, and you can just move it to inside manually if you want. Like this. Okay. Save it. Sorry, you can just press Ctrl S right. Now I'm going to select all these corner edges, maybe you should change for it, right? Not this much, okay, I think we should select all this, just ring it, it will select all these just maybe you should unselect you only need the inner side <coughs> and we can tap it maybe you should change the mode to what and we can release the tension So row hit right on uh, the stream. Yes. Okay. Hope this is enough. Okay, I'm gonna do the same. 
Let's select all this and select these. Adjust and outside and temper it. Okay. Exact same size. Okay, now I'm going to select all these. Select all these, I mean these two meshes, then convert the selection to vertex. Okay, and we need to weld actually. Let's turn it on and press OK. Now I'm going to select this edge. Jam from this one if you want. Like this, okay. Maybe you thought that the segments yes. okay. This is just to avoid this hard edges. I mean this edge. You can just keep like this. Maybe add on segment. Okay, no, you don't need any segments. And the same here. Okay. okay. We need to add that racks, right? You can try this one. No, it's not good. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to connect these two vertex. Wait, I think we should add on segment somewhere here, and we we'll need sorry, we need to align this perfectly by. Now we can just select this face <clears throat> or we can build all these manually. I think we need to add one more segment. Okay. Not a do. Okay. Remove this uh, black shade thing and add a new auto smooth.
Okay, I'm gonna create the same thing over here. Add one segment here. Now select this edge, press Y to actually align this perfectly. Maybe you should add one more. Now you can just just move this to the front and convert this selection to edges and unselect this edge and if I press control and backspace it will actually remove it right yes Anyway, we still need to weld. Don't name this one. Okay, we can actually remove all this. Right. We just need only one segment you can you can play the smoothing group later. We just connect all this together. Okay, it's fine. Now select the smash, play all, and add a new one by pressing or plus smooth. Okay, I will do do I'm starting to focus on There are actually so many jobs, bro. You should try this art station jobs. Maybe LinkedIn. I don't know. You can try so many. Sorry, you can find so many jobs. Even if you want to work from home, you can find the jobs easily, I think. Okay. You just align this by pressing so, this way. Okay. My select copy. Okay, once we create the high poly, we are going to divide these two sections maybe we should insert these two faces and we can actually add a glass material do it okay, i'm gonna insert now yes I can actually apply a different material into these two faces.
Okay, now we can get the small racks of shell from here. There. Okay, now we'll go to the front and put a small box maybe. Okay, yes, we need to create a small box and apply the material. And then remove the inside, maybe increase the height. Then we'll convert this to a table poly and Okay, this place here. Okay. Maybe it is the size a little bit. And place a bottle here, right? This. And. I'm going to isolate this and our two segments. Okay. Maybe one in here and we can extrude this looks like this okay, this is symbol one we can actually apply a different material into these faces. Okay, maybe a transparent material. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> right. You need to change the width. Maybe not. Keep like this. Okay, I'm gonna unwrap the UV of this image so we can duplicate. Okay, Let's select all these faces. And keep planner map, then relax it. Same here, keep planner map, relax it, apply it. Again, select the rest of these two sides and keep planner map, relax it. Then press Ctrl A and pack all this. And yeah. yeah. duplicate this, hold on, shift.
Okay. Only two is enough, right? Okay, same here. I think we should straighten this face. Press Y. Yes. And maybe you should get this down. Okay. And duplicate to the top. We only need one, I think, and maybe we should. Do the same thing, I mean, this thing over here also. Then we're going to place like this. Yeah, I think that's it for the door. Now we can move to the main part okay, I'm gonna group all this okay, go to group group it and hide all right the same One more thing, I'm going to change the, we go to this corner, and if I rotate this door, it, like this. And we we need to separate these two parts. And these are two different doors. Okay, so we'll do that later. Let's go back and hide this selection. Maybe. Have a copy of it. Mike, hi, will you do some basic animation like open window? <coughs> I think I just click pro again. Okay. I don't know much, but if you want to rotate this door, I don't see that. Okay. I think We have this set key or auto key. I think I'm going to try this set key and add this. Okay, it will actually create a key here and I'm going to move this somewhere here and rotate the door and add another key. Now if I play this, okay. we'll actually play the animation like that. So if you want to copy this keyframe, you can hold on shift and paste yeah. So thirty maybe place in sixty. 
like that. Can animate it. Maybe you can do more better. I don't know. Let's see. Guys, now we'll just isolate or hide the selection. You need to select copy first, then. Okay, I'm gonna keep it simple. Maybe you should do the same thing we did for the door. Okay, first uh, we need to add on segment. Align this, right. Okay, maybe one more, one more segment, then move this face to the front, then convert this selection to adjust by holding down control and control and backspace to delete. I think you should connect these two. Now we can remove all these. Okay, and then like this, and uh, then I'm gonna select this face. Let's press C. Uh, which course do you do in college? You no, know, right, actually, lend myself. Okay, we need to clear all these smooth things. Not anyone. Okay, maybe. So do like this. Then I should be fine. Okay. We need to do the same thing in here. You can actually add a symmetry modifier. Just flip this on. And collapse all this. Maybe you should increase the size or here. Okay, and I think we should extrude these two faces inside. Right, we don't need to keep it in the edge. If I extrude this to the inside, maybe here. So the door won't actually touch here, right? So you can just delete this one. Can we close this? No. Nope. We can bridge these two edges, right? Okay, hold on. We need to move this back.
think we made a mistake. We maybe can bridge these two, right? No fire. Okay. If I add this segment back, this and first this. Okay, hold on. Okay, no, it's fine. We can remove this one. I think it's fine. We can keep like this. Yes. Okay. Okay, we need to do the exact same thing over here. We can just add a symmetry modifier, right? Yes. Got a song. Let's save a copy again. And maybe you should increase the I saw it here. Okay, I don't like this. Maybe you should remove this second here. Okay, now it looks clean. And actually align this perfectly. I'm gonna select it. Press C. Same here. Okay. okay. I'm gonna create a small shelf inside this. Uh, go to the front. Create a small box. Apply on material, then we can increase the height. Okay, 
So the length actually should match with our existing interior shape. Again, size. Maybe you should move a little bit to the front. Okay. Now, rubric, sorry, convert to table body. And move this down. Okay, then you can select this, add a couple of segments in the, I mean, these two sides. Then we can change, sorry, apply a different material on these two sides later. And one more thing, maybe you should select these two faces and I sort down. Or Actually, segment here. Okay, I'm going to sort this down. We should change the shape. You can actually apply different material over here, and if you want, you can temper these two edges. Okay, no, I'm not. And up the UVs, smash. Control A, hang on a packet first. Now select this side, maybe select these three and keep planar map, then relax it. Some keep planar map. It. Okay. 
okay now control a and pack all this We can just duplicate this one. Maybe. Three is enough, right? Okay, I think we should create one more tray here. can duplicate this one now i think we should create another mesh but to the front and create another box so over here the back Increase the height. You should see width, sorry, length. Now convert to a table poly. This more like a tray, so need to insert this and scroll down. And I'm gonna add one segment. Add one segment, maybe two in the center. And now select this face. This is enough. I'm gonna move this a little bit to the top close to this razor, okay. Let's see how you let's see. Okay, now you can change for this. And we'll add a little, little bit of detail in our high poly mesh in this part. So we can just leave like this. Maybe two, three segments. And there is actually nothing to hold this. Okay, it's magnetic, right? Fine. I think we should create, I mean, insert these two faces. Okay. I think that's enough, right?
ที่We should connect something. I mean, this door with our. It's right. We'll just save a copy first, then go to the top. Read the box. Okay. It's a small thing. You can just have the material and change the size. Then we should convert this to an iterable poly. This is the length. Then we'll go to the top again. We need to create another mesh, maybe a small cylinder. No, remove all these height segments. This here, reduce the radius. There is the height. Yeah, reduce radius some more time. And keep like this. Okay, now convert this on to a table poly. Hold on. I think we should increase the radius and convert to a table poly. And we can actually remove these two. Okay. And up the UV. Do a Two slides in this packet. Let's all same thing here. We should grab the UV. Okay, now we need to select these three faces. Click planner map and legs it. Control I to invert selection to select the other three. Relax and select all packet. Now so attach it to this. You can actually duplicate this one down. You can do that later maybe. There is actually something on the back side of the fridge. And in here. Then we can create that in our high poly. So actually there is this gap between these two doors. Okay. First we need to create this back side. Um, I'm gonna use this plane. I mean this rectangle. Right. 
this and move to the bank. Um, converter table supply select all these vertex I think if I select then enable the port change it to rectangular apply this material then we can reduce the size okay now we will create another spline If like this, maybe you should change the size to be like this. Okay, just a basic shape and converter table poly. I mean, both of this so also converter table poly. Wait. And I'm going to duplicate this thing down a couple of times, maybe eight times. And I'm going to duplicate this one again and rotate Put this on 45 degree. Okay, so. And uh, we can increase the height. Now we'll just duplicate a few more times. Okay. I hope this is enough, but this is not the exact thing. So we can just delete you just I'm going to just attach all this together. And there is one more, of, I mean, a few more mesh, I mean, small things around here. Okay, I'm going to avoid that. Okay, don't need that. So this is actually not following the door, right? 
Okay, maybe we should change the pivot to here, then we can rotate the door and this thing together. Okay, we need to attach these two together. So, so we need now we need to create few more things like this uh, is blind with a pepper here and apply this material this is for you maybe using some simulation game or this for a label I'm not gonna use okay I'm gonna duplicate this and we'll add one segment and convert this to table poly <clears throat> and we can actually change for this one. Okay, maybe we should reduce the size. Okay, this one also converted to poly. And one more stick maybe. I'm gonna place over here. Then rotate it a little bit. First we need to reduce the size, then rotate a little bit, I think we should rotate all these stickers, I mean all this paper. Okay. Yeah. I think that's it. Now we can start unwrapping the UVs. Right. Yes. First, we will isolate this mesh and add this. And up EV W editor control A all this to the side then we should start from the inside okay. you want to select this face then grow the selection Orbit. I'm going to select this one. So we can try to use the cylindrical projection on this. Okay. 
wait i think we should cut somewhere now we can use a quick planner map then if i relax this Okay, maybe we should cut here also. I think we should do one side first. Kick planner map legs. This kick planner map legs. Okay, you know, this box, click planner map, relax it, and the other, okay. Gonna select this side, then grow the selection to actually set these two small. I mean, the small edges. Okay, I think it's do one by one. And the last one. It planner me likes it and we have this run side right? kick planner map likes it apply it okay, I think we can combine these two and likes it Okay, now press Ctrl A and pack all this. Okay. Now this door. Okay. Uh, we need to remove all the keyframes, something. Or you can just isolate, hide and select it and group and group. Now, okay, and group. You can add this. Or A. For this, the first we need to wait, wait before we start unwrapping the UVs. We need to do thing. We need to reduce the gap between these two doors. And I'm gonna add okay. 
Okay. Okay. Anyway, we can add this. <coughs> now select these three faces and you click planner map. Works. <coughs> Same here. If the map likes it, no. You can select this face, maybe even draw the selection, or you can just okay, I'm gonna select only this one <coughs> and this top side. And relax it. Same here. We have these two sides. <coughs> okay, good planner map and legs. And these two sides. Okay. No, again, you can learn Relax it. Let's turn it up. Let me select this planar projection. Okay, that's for the first door and second. Hit another map and just like so. Okay, no. Select it. And 
legs it. And this is the last one, I think. We run our projection. C direction. Maybe we should straighten this. And like it. Wait, I think we should use the planar projection to this. Okay, I think okay, we have this handle, right? Abdulhamid, hi. Can you type in English? Okay, I'm gonna save it. Okay, then move to the handle. Then we should attach this first. Anyway, I'm gonna try without detaching. Now if I grow the selection, wait, you know what, uh, we should detach this handle. Well, actually we don't need these. And we can keep that. Now we can add this UV editor. Then we can grow the selection. Okay, and we should unselect this one also. And you see, keep planar map. Then go to tools, select, uh, apply. Now press Ctrl I. We should unselect this mesh. And this part. Again, keep planar me and like so. Same here. We can actually duplicate this mesh to the top right. We don't need to do this again. So I'm gonna pack this. So should delete this one then duplicate this mesh rotate and you can reduce the length And make sure you aren't sorry, check this pressor UV so it will actually not affect the UV much. 
right check okay we need to attach these two first right if i check the uv it will actually find right Control A and if I pack this, maybe you should relax these two. A and back it. That's for the handle. And I'm not going to unwrap the UV for this one. We should maybe we should add a simple one. Okay, select all this, just pack it. So now we have some couple of paper secret sorry uh, and this and or a cube planner map uh, again like it then pack all this okay like this and uh, I'm gonna attach this with our door Attach door and this handle also and this thing also. The, the animation not gonna work again, I think. So we can just uh, delete all these keyframes they created. Now, if you want to animate this again, I think we should change the pivot. So this right, right. Wait, maybe we should add it in the center with one more segment. Can connect one segment, then change this pivot to now. If I rotate this. Yes, you're not working. Anyway, maybe you should move a little bit. No. Anyway, yeah, this is not Isolate this, or oh, we should change the pure. This corner, so we can rotate like this. Let's see. We first we need to hide this selection. Please. Okay, we need to uh, 
attach all this together. Okay, we only need one, we can just duplicate later, right? Okay, we can just delete these three. Once we pack the UVs, we can duplicate this. So I copy and hide all. We don't need the smash, we can delete it. Now if I Put it though. Same here. I think we should delete these two and collapse this mesh. I mean, this UV and attach to this mesh. We need to unwrap this mesh UVs and the editor. Open it, control A, back this on. Okay, first I'm select from this side. Okay, like this. Go to this one, maybe, and it's the cube planner map. We can relax it then. Select this inside. Planner map. Relax it. And we have these two sides. Wait. I'm going to select these three sides. Sorry. This size. Okay, we did. Don't need to select. Or it, I think we should do like this. Okay, no. Quick plan our map. Again here. Okay, I think that's it, right? Control A and pack all this. Now we can attach with our mesh. Save a copy. Okay, I'm going to test this door also. Okay, I'm going to keep like this. I mean, this door open. Or well, we can just close it, right? If I close this, show it. Whenever we unwrap, I mean, back the normal map, there is going to be a problem. This door, I mean, this inside actually overlapping here. Okay, you can see that. If I move to inside. So, I think we should keep like this. Okay, and I'm going to select these two, rotate. Okay, we need to select only one. Keep like this, okay. Mm. 
I'm say copy again, then attach your the main mesh. And this one also. Okay, now I'm going to add this end up UVW again. Plus, you need to remove this. Okay, I'm going to remove this to the side. Then select all these questions. Press Ctrl I to invert selection and we'll just pack it, okay? First, I'm going to say copy, then we'll pack it. I am supposed okay. to say sorry. Yes, sorry. Yes, sorry. Okay, we need to. I'm going to resize all the way down of this thing, okay? Move somewhere here. We won't be applying any texture under this, only material, only play material. So, you just release the signs and add somewhere here. And let's all this. Yeah. Select the Mesh, then control and shift. That's an element, okay. okay. Same here. A little bit last time, maybe. Okay, now we can create the high poly from this mesh. But first, say copy again, isolate this, sorry, change the pivot to somewhere here, place it in the center, hide unselected, okay, now go to edit, plot, Make a copy, rename this to high. Now we have two meshes. Right. And I'm going to find this one. A height selection and select the height poly and I'm gonna remove this uh, remove this mesh
with this delete and maybe you should oh, this one also oh, if you keep it right now so for the hyperly i don't think we need to actually create the hyperly guys maybe you can right we don't need to create the hyperly this we are going to try this same for modifier change it to unsmooth edges and the amount to Okay, this is gonna take some time, I think. Or not. Okay, I'm gonna try. Add a couple of segments. Okay, it's gonna take some time, I think. I think we should uh, check for these edges manually. Yes, I think we should try with high police not take some time to clear all this so okay we don't need the high poly guys I'm gonna try without high poly you can just uh, delete the smash and hide all So we don't have a high poly, right? Hi, Hassan. Hi, I'm gonna stream. I think we should change for these edges since we don't have a high poly.
perfect things you might need to change the UV side Why? I'm gonna check this pressor UV thing and we'll try to change for these edges. Let's a little bit. I hope it's fine. Okay. So normally you should uh, create a high poly and make the textures from it. I mean the normal map from it with few details in here, maybe in here also. I'm gonna just a texture without the high poly. Okay. Maybe you should check the UV on last time. You can see it's actually fine, I think. Anyway, we'll export this to Substance Blender. Let me see how I said. I need to check this paper. Okay, I'm already sorry, in this size of these papers. Now we can export this to Rainbow. Select the mesh, go to export, export selector, desktop, new folder, folder. Hold on. I think we should detach this part. Wait, wait. Mm -hmm. Yes, retest so. so actually we should uh, duplicate this these two small things under here okay for the second row okay, okay. Uh, let's change this pivot to maybe here And I'm going to rotate back.
maybe it can just keep like this don't need to do that now we'll open the painter and we'll try to text and send substance paint Okay. Okay, so I'll put it in my shimmer and open to the screen. Okay. Now go to this file, new again. Select our mesh. This folder and press OK. So, this is our mesh here. Check the UV, it's fine. So, if I rotate the light. Okay, now go to this texture set settings, bake mesh maps, I'm gonna change the size. So since you don't have the high poly, you can so you don't need to change the settings here. If you can just come down here, we can bake the textures. So, okay. so Fritz, you know, go to the list. First, we need to save this project. Then okay, we need to create a new fill layer. You can see all of our textures. We have this normal map, just a plain one. Okay, we don't have the high poly, just a plain normal map. Okay, we need to. We need to group this layer and add a black mask. Now go to this polygon fill on the left side. Select it. Okay, I'm gonna select this mesh. This one. Eight and I'm gonna add our material. Maybe this one. Now again, I'm gonna select this door. And this one. Like this. And here we can change the color. Maybe a little bit gray. white and
little bit metallic. Don't think we need that. Maybe let. Yeah, I think white is better. Okay, no, no, no. Let's duplicate this group and clear this mask. We need to change the color and we'll select these areas. Okay, you just need these edges. Now, now if I go to texture set, we need to add a opacity channel. What will be somewhere? Sun. Now go to this. Display settings, I think. If I go to Windows, we have this uh, shader settings, and we can change the shader to it alpha blending. Okay, we have this alpha blending. We select now. Go to this layer, we have this opacity channel, I'm gonna release it. And you can see, you can see through these meshes. And I'm gonna uncheck this metal and change the color to maybe black. Nope. Release the opacity all the way down. The mesh will disappear, I think. Anyway, I'm going to keep it around here. Increase the, sorry, raise the roughness. Something like that. Now duplicate this layer. I mean, this will What? I'm going to duplicate this uh, group. Sorry. Duplicate layers. Clear the mask. We need to un turn off this opacity and I'm going to select this part, okay. Just select all these faces. Okay, wait, I think we don't need to select all this. Clear this mask. Mm. 
I guess near this this area. And sniff. Okay, I'm gonna keep it here. Um, go to this layer and turn on this height, and we have these procedures here. We add. Have you made any models for any game so far? Yes, I think we can find my asset. This game called Mist, I think. Yes, Mist Survival Game. You can find it there. Yeah, uh, right. I add this and tile it right. Maybe this one. I think we should add a different texture or something instead of. We can go see skin. We might need to add a level. Then not not here. We should add one here. Level we can adjust the height. Now by Can we release a value? That's it. And if I change the quality to 4K, okay. we still have this.
Maybe you should change the color. Hold on. I need to uncheck this. Okay, I'm going to change the quality back to OK. Now we can start adding a little bit dirt. Or I think we should uh, duplicate one of this layer. There, clear the mask. Okay. And I want to select this. Polygon fill and select this mesh. Yes, yeah, we need to increase the metallic, increase the roughness, and change the color to maybe black or gray. Select this. Okay, I think we should create, I mean duplicate this group, create the mask, and select these two, apply a different material. Have you modeled a sorry modeled a light inside? You don't need a sample of what light. Okay, now we can Collapse all this, save it. Press OK and close this mix. Create a new fill layer, the black mask. Go to this smart mask. Then add some dirt, okay? To change the color first, mm, I can add this dust first. Mm -hmm. I think we should increase the contrast, right? So to only affect these edges or corners and the don't need the height, opacity, or normal map. And we should change the color.
Okay. Now let's uh, duplicate this layer. Clean the mask. We need to find some edge damages. Maybe we should try this one. And if I increase the amount, we can see. Okay, edge rust maybe. I think this will do. And um, should change the color. Yeah, I think we don't need to worry about this. Okay. We're going to change the base color. To something like light.
Okay, I think we should move this under this glass material. Now I'm going to duplicate this one again, clear the mask and add some edge scratches. And the color. Okay. Maybe we should change the reference. Okay, hold on, I think you should change, select this mass material, which uh, is this one, my thing, sunlight, we need to add these,
we should change the opacity And this I think we need to create one more group for this sticker or paper. Hold on. Okay, I'm going to duplicate this layer, clear the mask, and select these three, or maybe one, and add a different material, don't need the metallic, uh, roughness, change the color to maybe White. Then I can add, find some drawings soon. Let's find one image. And we can click drop in here and say texture. This project now drop it in our base color. We can change. Will maybe no type an R and if I scale this up if we projection I'm gonna scale this. We can offset it. 
okay you can create or add textures like this I think we should move a little bit close up to this mesh okay we can add the details like this No keyboard, no bro. It's actually consolidating. This, I think, that's it for the switch. Okay. If I rotate the slide. You can see the other side. And we can change the texture to, I mean the quality to 4K. Okay, and if I Render this. Change the color. Maybe we should change the down position. And the HDRI. We can rotate the light. I think this is for the fridge and if you ask anything in this comment uh, next stream will be on Wednesday okay thank you uh, and can suggest something I mean like for the topic and I'll try to do it in our next tutorial I think the sun looks better, right? You can send us here, maybe that is pretty, and you can change the ground reflection. Okay, so that's it for the fridge and if you ask anything you can just comment and we'll see you on the next time.
Then... Try to handle this, okay? Let me finish some points. If it is some thing, anyway, uh, and thanks for joining the stream. Thanks for support. And then we'll see. So maybe you should increase the examples. Yes, and once again, it will thanks for joining the stream. Thanks for support, and we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye, guys.